What is up guys, it is Eco and back here with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the Unity Bone Animation System for 2D. Now I know I've been gone for a while, um, I've been focusing on school and work, um, but I'm hoping to get back into making tutorials. Devlogs on the other hand, I have stopped. If you're in my Discord, you should already know about that. I made a quick announcement about it, but um, devlogs just, I, I'm not really doing them anymore, at least for this uh, game in particular, just because as I develop more of the game, um, the story is going to evolve and it's going to get harder and harder to make decent devlogs. But also, I just, I really don't have time for them anymore. Um, they take a lot of time to edit. Uh, and I, with school and work, I just, I need, you know, to focus on other things. But, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So first things first, you're going to need to uh, open up Unity. I currently have Unity 2020.1.15 installed. Um, if you have a version after this, it should be the same. Um, if you have a version before this, it may not be the same depending on what version you're using. But uh, we need to open up the package manager. So go ahead and go to window up here, and then just open up your package manager. And then the two things you're gonna, that you're gonna need to install are 2D animation and 2D PSD importer to get this working. A 2D animation is just for the bones and all that, and the 2D PSD importer is to import uh, the actual files that you're going to be using to animate. Um, now, I believe this is a dependency. I'm not completely sure um, for the animation, but yes. So go ahead and uh, import both of these. Now, I know although it says 2D PSD importer, it, it actually uses uh, PSB files which is basically just a larger version of Photoshop's PSD files. Um, but yeah, so it requires that. So once you have those two installed, now we can go ahead and get to importing the art. So go ahead and uh, open up Photoshop or whatever program you're using. Although I don't know if other programs let you export in PSB. I'm using Photoshop personally, so I am able to. I don't know if it's Photoshop specific or not, but I'm assuming it is. So if you're not using Photoshop, again, I'm not sure if you can use this but once you get into photoshop go ahead and make sure that you are uh that your file is a psb and then uh you can either save as and go directly into your assets folder or you can just find the file and drag it into your project i already have mine imported as a to tree or tutorial tree um, i already have uh, all my settings set up these really aren't important you can go ahead and set these up however you like but once you have that installed, um, or imported rather, it should show up like this. It should say PSD importer if you've done everything correctly. Now, once you have, make sure this is on Sprite, by the way. Make sure uh, this is going to need to be on multiple. Um, everything else should be just how you like it. Uh, actually, also, make sure that character rig is checked. It should be checked by default, but if it's not, go ahead and check that. And then a mosaic, I don't know if it's required or not, but that is checked by default as well. So I recommend leaving that on. But when you're ready to start animating or set up the bone system, go ahead and click over here on Sprite Editor and it should open up the Sprite Editor. And then we're actually not gonna be using this view. Go to your top left up here and go to Skinning Editor. If it wants to load for me, there we go. Okay, now we need to set up bones. So go over here and click create bone. So now you'll see this little uh, red dot or whatever color shows up. So now you're gonna go ahead and set up uh, your base bone. I'm I'm animating a tree right now, but you know if you're animating if you're animating a character, you might put this bone in in uh, their torso. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the tree trunk here. Something along that. This is not gonna require a lot of bones. I think mine is really honestly only going to require two bones. But see, I don't want to start with this bone right here. So I can actually left click and leave that. But what I don't want to do is just start creating another bone. Because these two are not linked anymore. So to make sure they are linked, uh, make sure all your other bones are linked to this base bone. You want to go ahead and click on that and you'll see this little line here. And then you can go ahead and start creating your other bones. Now, if you're creating a character, you don't want to link every single one of your bones to this base bone. So say you have a, a bone in your character's torso. You would connect, say, like the biceps or your shoulders to that torso bone. But, you know, your forearms uh, or the, any other part 
you would connect to that shoulder or bicep bone as you go down. So if I were to continue doing this, say I was creating a character here, instead of you know going here and creating another one, I would go here and just do stuff like that. Say like this is you know maybe a head of a character. You know, say, you know, I have two eyes. I wouldn't want the eyes connected to my torso bone. I would want the eye bones connected to my head bone there. I'm going to go ahead and, and control Z because I do not need those bones. At least since this is a fairly simple mesh, these are the only bones I personally need. But go ahead and take your time, pause the video, and go ahead and set up all the bones you need. But once you are done with that and you have everything as you like it, you're going to probably try to turn these if you go to preview pose. You turn these you realize these do not do anything that is because we need to set up the weights and the geometry so let's go ahead and go over here to under geometry and hit auto geometry now if you have a fairly complex piece of art you may want to crank up the subdivision and uh the outline detail but if you have a fairly simple mesh like me you're gonna want to turn these down because if you have an unnecessary amount of all this stuff is just going to create unnecessary like CPU load and all that in your game that you really just don't need and a bunch of polygons that are not needed to be rendered so I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine down to 21 um, on both you can set up these to whatever you like I honestly the subdivision setup sets up all your polygons I don't fully know what the outline detail does there's tooltips, so if you want to read those, you can go ahead. But once you have all this set up, make sure weights is checked. And then go ahead and uh, check or go ahead and click generate for all visible. And then you'll see you have your geometry here. You can now uh, twist the bones. And uh, as you can see here, this bone is a little screwed up, but we are going to fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my pose. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go to the weight brush down here under weights. Now, if, you, if your mesh performs perfectly how you like, you can go ahead and skip to after this, but most likely your mesh is probably a little messed up with the bones, so you're gonna wanna fix that. So, you're gonna, go, you're gonna wanna twist your bones, and that sounds a little strange, but you're gonna wanna twist the bones and um, just see what is being pulled that shouldn't, like this, should, this shouldn't be staying in that one place this should be following this entire area so i'm going to reset and then i'm going to double click there and make sure just everything is selected here and make sure that you do have that red outline around the bone that you're wanting to edit and then if i want to add um, weight to an area or if i want like the bone to affect a certain area i'm just going to simply left click and hold it down and you can just kind of paint and then down here in your bottom right you can see you have your weight brush settings so right now uh, you know your hardness so you know how how much it actually affects that and then i'm going to turn this back down and uh your step i really don't know what that does but and then you have your brush size right there so i'm going to go ahead and paint this and really just try to get make sure it affects everything so honestly i can go ahead and turn up that hardness and just make sure that it's pulling everything like so make sure so now if i twist that i have a nice rotation there now a little strange there uh so i can go ahead and do that um some stuff may be still a little weird um what you can actually do what i did on my actual tree in my game um, you can edit the geometry and add different vertices and edges. So if I want to add a vertex, I can go right there. And basically, you're just editing this. So, you know, you can pull these around and you can add more to make it more defined. So when you're editing that weight, you have more control over what the bones are doing. But I don't have a need for that. I'm not going to go super in-depth, mainly just because... It, for the sake of this tutorial but when you're done editing all your bones again make sure um, everything is being pulled around how you like um, after editing some bones you may find after twisting like some things maybe like stretching over here you just have to figure out what bone 
um, those should be connected to and just make sure you paint those in now if you're wanting to remove weight from somewhere so say you don't want an area to be affected all you're going to do is control and left click and then you'll see that'll start to take away a lot of the control of that certain area and you'll see it's a little messed up but you'll see that it has taken away the weight of this bone from that area but obviously i don't need to do that so i'm going to go ahead and reset my pose and personally i am done with this tree but you may have to take more time depending on what you were animating but when you are done with everything go ahead and go to the top right here and click apply and just wait for it to load and then you can go and leave your skinning editor and then you can go ahead and take your uh, object here in your project files and just go ahead and drag it into your scene so i have gizmos turned off so make sure you have gizmos turned on or else you won't be able to see the bones but you'll see now you have bones on this now what i like to do is i like to create a prefab so i'm just going to create a different prefabs folder i am in my uh actual game um project right now but you're going to go ahead and pull uh if you want to create it i recommend creating a prefab for this just so it's two separate objects go ahead and click original prefab and then now that you have that prefab uh, made you can go ahead and go here and now you can see in game you can pull around this so obviously you can't animate it like this so now that you have these bones set up you an you animate it how you would anything else you just go ahead and open up your animation thing if you don't know how to go there you just go window and then you go to animation over here and you click animation now don't go to animator that is for the animator controller click animation drag that window where you want it and now you can click on that create this say I want to create a swaying animation so I'm gonna go and name that sway that'll go where I want it to go and now obviously just like anything else I will go ahead and create some pre uh, some frames so say I want my thing so and the most helpful thing with these bones is obviously using the rotating tool if you use this positioning tool uh, it, it's gonna do something like that because the bones are all connected so you really just the only tool you're really gonna want to use with this is possibly the scaling tool if you need to scale something up but also just mainly the rotation tool but so now let me go ahead and delete that keyframe say I want my tree to stay like that and then I'll pull it over here and here again very sloppy just you know very quick animation if i want to slow it down i'll just pull it over there we go now we have our sway it's not a super complicated process um i mean i guess it depends what type of art you are creating but for the most part it's fairly easy it can be a bit tedious at times especially with that weight brush but once you have everything done it is it, it turns out amazing and um now, if you don't like this type of, uh, if you don't like the bone animation system, you can always just, you know, export everything in separate sprites and do it that way. But I think this is definitely uh, a lot easier, especially when it comes to having certain things like not pop out when you're, you know, say like turning a limb on your character. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave those questions down in the comments below. Uh, I'm I'll be pretty active in the comments That's it for me today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video helped if it did Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and please go ahead and smash that like button and make sure you hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace